You use your email at work, you probably know it's not private, but what you may not know is there is no such thing as private email anymore at all. You're inviting snoopers into your daily life with every email exchange you send. Paula Tutman is in the newsroom right now to show you why we have no privacy, right Paula? Ruth, this one is a while, so come with me. I want you to just kind of take a look at my monitor right here because the cyber experts at the University of Detroit Mercy's Center for Cybersecurity and Intelligence Studies showed us how they built a worm, then they let it loose on a laptop and let it go to work. Within minutes, a student had access to everything on our laptop, files, contacts, and even our own images. And check this out, as shocking as this is, it is not the biggest breach in your email security, not by a long shot. The most common breaches of your privacy is every single day with what you think is your private email. If you have free email, you're being watched every single time you send one. I use email constantly. Dawn Frazier of Clawson first noticed that on her Gmail accounts, advertisements would pop up that seemed to be addressing the contents of her private emails to her husband. At first, didn't pay a lot of attention to it. Once I really looked at the content in my emails and the ads that were popping up, it was surprisingly uh, close to home, the ads, very targeted. So I sent Dawn a dummy email. Dear Dawn. It could easily be your email with private personal information. I talked about a dear old granny and having to finally place her in a nursing home. Don't tell granny yet. As you know, she's older, and as many grandmothers, she may not like the idea of going into an elder facility. Dawn logged on to her email account less than a minute later. Numerous ads pop up alongside her email. And the ad that popped up is Oakland County Senior Living and Long-Term Care Insurance. Two out of the four ads are directly related to content in the email. This is upsetting. It is. This, is, this could be considered private information between um, family. Cyber experts at the Center for Cybersecurity Intelligence Studies at the University of Detroit Mercy tell us all free email providers consider your private emails their property and they mine the contents for their own purposes, including selling advertisements. And they tell you so. Who reads those uh, agreements when they pop up? It's like 40 pages long. Right. I'm not a lawyer. I've read these things. Uh, I don't understand them completely. So how do they do it? How do these free email providers snoop? They will read your emails. They'll scan them, but they'll do it with a bot. Uh, they won't do it. A real person won't look at your emails. That's that, what they say. That's what they say. If you don't like the ads, you can opt out by going to your privacy settings. But that third party or that provider still reserves the option to scan your emails, scan your traffic, and to monitor your use of their programs. How can you tell if your private emails aren't private? Free is not secure. That's one takeaway. And that's the big takeaway. So here are some big email don'ts. Don't send social security numbers or uh, financial information via email. Don't send anyone bank accounts or credit card information via email. Don't talk about private, medical, or legal matters. And you know what, guys? Here, try this. Don't e-fight with your spouse unless you want ads popping up for counseling services. In fact, our experts say don't even talk about your kids. Have nicknames. We don't know who's minding the bots as they mine our private information. Now, Ruth, I do want you to know I did contact Google's regional media person for a comment. Well, wouldn't you know it? His phone doesn't accept messages. Huh. He asked me to send an email. I did. Still waiting for an answer. Stay tuned. But just remember, when you do opt out, it's only opting out of receiving those ads. Your emails, your personal emails, will still be scanned. Wow. I'd like to know who's minding the bots. Yeah. And that's the key. That really is the key. All right. Thanks, Paula. Mm -hmm. Really a... Uh...